So when you're designing a website, it's often important to consider how your web page link will appear when it's rendered in social media. As an example, this simple web page here, which is driven in Webflow by a collection, appears on Facebook currently as this. Now you can see that it's pulling through just fine, a title and a description. However, there's currently no open graph image being specified. Now this is a challenge that's specific to Webflow collections, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. Uh, essentially, in Webflow, if you want an open graph image to be emitted from a collection-driven page, you must specify the image in each and every individual collection item. There is no way to globally set one image that will appear for all of the collection items for all of the pages. And it's quite an unfortunate reality. Uh, today is July 25th, 2018. So hopefully by the time you hear this, Webflow has made some updates, but that's the current reality. However, there is a way around this uh, where we can generate a global open graph image tag manually rather than having Webflow generate it for us. And, there's this, and we'll walk through that process now, but first let's have a look at what's going on. So what Facebook uses to determine how to represent your page link is through a set of information known as open graph protocol tags. The open graph protocol looks like this. It's a series of meta tags that appear at the top of your page in the header that describe different details about your page. And this is the particular one that we're talking about. It's the open graph image tag. There's a lot of additional metadata as well. If you're curious about uh, any of this, just Google Open Graph and you'll find lots and lots of details on exactly how this protocol works. Now, as I mentioned before, Webflow provides a fair bit of capability on emitting this for you and emitting this from collection data. Um, however, there may be situations where you want to emit additional information or you want uh, to override or replace what Webflow is choosing to generate to make it global for the entire collection rather than specific to each and every collection item. So let's have a look at that. Now, Facebook provides a debugging tool called the Facebook Linter, which allows you to see what it is scraping from a link. So to find that, you can just go to Google and you can Google Facebook Linter and this first item, the debugger, will give you uh, a very handy little tool. It essentially allows you to paste in a URL image and it will give you any warnings such as, hey, there's no open graph image, so we are inferring it and just looking for other images on your page. And I can scrape my page to see exactly what's being shown, exactly what's being shown to Facebook and exactly how Facebook will process and interpret it. And here's a link preview that Facebook is showing me. You can also see exactly what open graph information that it is getting. All of this is currently being generated by Webflow. So let's have a look at Webflow itself. Now here's my page design for Webflow. I want it to be very, very simple and lightweight. This is internal only, I'm not looking for any particular styling. If I have a look at the collection that's feeding this page, I kind of look at its design. You can see that there are two images available. There's a main image and a thumbnail image. This collection was generated simply from the blog template and then modified a bit from there. If I have a look at my page design, go down to the collection page itself and look at the settings can have a look at the open graph settings here. And I can see uh, the title is being specified, the same as what's being generated for the SEO title tag. The description as well being pulled from the SEO meta description. I want that to be the same for now. That works fine. But my open graph image options are very limited. Right now, nothing is selected. It gives me the option to select one. If I drop this down, I only get two options and they are only the fields that are available in the collection. Now, typically in uh, other page designs, if I go to, for example, 
uh, a static page. I can look at the page design here and I can see any any page design here will be fine. Look at the open graph settings. I have the ability to paste the URL URL in manually that points to an open graph image anywhere. And if I want to do one that's hosted by Webflow, I can pull that directly from assets. I'll show you how to do that. And it, it gives me some details on the preferred image size. Unfortunately, when we're talking about a collection, I do not have the ability to set uh, manually set a single image that's used by all the collection item pages. And I don't have the ability to set a default image in case a collection item does not have an image specified. And that's quite unfortunate, but that's the current reality today. So here's what I can do to set a, an image for all of the pages that will never be overridden, but that at least makes it easier for clients to, for example, do their specials posting or create a new blog article without being required to find an image of their own each and every time they do a post. So let's go back to our publications template here. I'm going to go back to Open Graph Settings. I'm going to leave this as is. It's very important to keep this unset or it will override what I'm about to do. I'm going to go to Custom Code. And what we're going to do is manually paste in our own Open Graph tag. Now, if you looked at the Open Graph Settings, it looks like this. In this particular case, I want a meta with an OG colon image property. And now I want to find an image that I want to specify as the content. I'm going to save this for a moment. And I'm going to go to my assets to have a look at what's here. Basically, anything I upload to my site uh, is given a URL and is hosted on the Webflow server, assuming I'm using Webflow's hosting. And so essentially what I can do is pick an image that I like. This is roughly the right shape. I don't need a particularly large one. I'm not being too picky about the specifics of the size. Facebook will modify it as needed to fit pretty closely. And I've clicked on the little uh, the little link here to open that image into a new tab so that I can see its full URL as it is hosted on Webflow. So I can copy that. And what I'm going to do is go and paste that into my page design. So I go back to my page. I go back to configuration settings. I go back to custom code. I'm going to paste this new URL in between the double quotes of content. Now what I'm doing is telling it to always emit this open graph image tag. And of course, as we said before, very important to make certain that the open graph settings do not override that. So keep this unset. I'm going to save my changes. I'm going to publish. And what we'll do is we'll have a look first at the Facebook linter to see what it's pulling up separately. So I shrink this down, go back to my linter. Here's my original page. Now that this is republished, it should be able to pick up my open graph image tag. And there we go. Sometimes you have to click scrape a few times for it to clear out the cache. Uh, but you can see that it's picked up the image I've specified, which looks far better. And one of the key perks here, again, is that when you have a client who is managing, say, a blog or a specials page or video feed, you want them to be able to publish without necessarily being required to produce a new image every single time to source something or photo something and upload it. In many cases, that's not a reasonable requirement for certain clients. So this allows you to satisfy both situations, to control the image that appears when someone pastes that blog entry link into social media, but while keeping it easy for your clients to manage. Now hopefully Webflow will update this soon. The optimal situation would be if Webflow allowed for both. In other words, if it allowed for us to specify a default image for Open Graph that we choose manually, but also allow that to be overridden by a specific image field in the collection 
if it happens to be set. So that would be the, the optimal solution. However, as you can see, um, that's currently not an option. So hopefully this will help you in the meantime.